Being named the youngest billionaire by Forbes last year, Kylie Jenner is most definitely living a life of luxury. Many argue that her fortune wasn't really self-made due to her family's fame and status, but whatever way you spin it, the girl is filthy rich. Her success has afforded her many fancy things like a million dollar handbag collection that's to die for, multiple mega mansions in the hills and a glow up that, let's be real, is only possible if you're Kylie. I mean, she bought her first Calabasas mansion when she was only 17, a goal many only dream of accomplishing in their entire lives. She just moved into a new Homeby Hills mansion as well and spent 15 million in cash for land only days later. Her car collection is worth a whopping 14 million dollars, give or take, and includes multiple G wagons in different colors, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, five or more Rolls Royce models, a very special and exclusive Bugatti, and more. I'm not even sure when she finds time to drive all of these. She's even bought her mama Chris a red Ferrari worth 250k as a birthday gift one year. Kylie's treated herself to some ridiculously expensive things over the years too, including her wig collection, Cartier bling, and spoiling her daughter. She spent 70k on baby clothes alone before Stormy was even born. Kylie was named the world's youngest billionaire last year when she was only 21, which we all know. Many don't think she deserves it considering the Kardashian Jenners were already multimillionaires, but she is the youngest member of the fam and managed to surpass the others quickly. Kylie's beauty empire is worth about 1.2 billion currently, and her net worth still remains an estimated 1 billion dollars. What's going on guys and girls, I'm Kara and welcome back to a new series titled The Billionaire Life here for you on Famous Entertainment. In these vids we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the luxury lifestyles of the rich and famous, but unlike our other series, not everyone will make the cut. This is for those who have made money into the hundreds of millions, even billions of dollars and are living like the king and queens of today. As always, I need you guys to keep suggesting who to do next in those comments down below. Follow me over on Instagram and subscribe if you're new. Now let's get into Kylie Jenner's billionaire life here on Famous Entertainment. We're gonna skip over Kylie's story since I know you're all familiar, but let's take a quick look at her business portfolio so we can identify the sources of revenue that have made her a billionaire. It's estimated that Kylie Jenner earns about $48,000 per hour when you do the math. Of course, we were first introduced to Kylie on her family's reality show Keeping Up With The Kardashians, which makes an estimated 30 mil or more per season. Not to mention, she had her own spin-off series, Life of Kylie. The notoriety Kylie got from TV allowed her to bring that influence to social media, which gave her another source of revenue considering she's one of the most followed individuals on Instagram. She charges a massive 1 million dollars per sponsored post she shares with her followers. Damn. She's had deals making seven figures or more as a model, teaming up with brands like Topshop and even a clothing line her and her sister Kendall designed for retailer PacSun. Kylie's also into real estate, currently owning three mansions and purchasing more than five multi-million dollar Los Angeles properties over her short lifetime, one of which she even rented to her older brother Rob. All of that and more makes Kylie extremely wealthy, but the majority of her fortune that got her to billionaire status came from her brand, Kylie Cosmetics. Starting off as Kylie Lip Kits in 2015, she produced the first 15,000 kits using her infamous pout as marketing. They sold out in less than a minute. As of March 2019, Kylie owned 100% of what's now Kylie Cosmetics and only recently sold a major stake to the company Cody Inc. for 600 million. Either way, she's still in charge of marketing and creatives and will continue earning a massive paycheck from her brand. Considering Kylie makes about 170 million a year, the young celeb has done extremely well for herself. Herself, so let's see how she spends her crazy fortune. Kylie's definitely bought some crazy purchases over the years that only she could afford. A lot of her spending goes to her beauty routine, so if you want to look as good as she does, it'll cost you. Between her eyebrows costing over $150 a session, her $400 tans, house call manicures done by only the best, lash extensions, and her Juvederm lip fillers at $9.50 a pop, Kylie forks out about $7k per month, give or take, on her beauty. And this doesn't include her hair. Aside from styling her natural locks, Kylie's a wig lover and buys only the best. She often gets them custom made by Tokyo Styles and has a collection of over 100. These are all my wigs. This is the wig I wore for VMAs. It has like the cool like fashionable bangs. This is my green one that I wore for Sugar Factory that almost got snatched off my head. Look at that. 
my short blue one that I wore for a while. And this one's the blonde one I wore for my birthday party. I think I'm a wig girl. I love wigs. Since hers are top of the line, they cost her anywhere from 600 to over 5,000 bucks each. Although you might assume she spends a lot on bling, this isn't her fave thing to shop for besides pricey Cardi bracelets. A few years back, she said, I don't like to spend money on jewelry. I've only really gotten jewelry as gifts for my mom or a boyfriend. No matter how much I fall in love with it, I'm not gonna pay $40,000 for a watch. I'm just not gonna do it. Instead, Miss Kylie would rather splurge on purses. Her entire collection is worth over a million dollars, and of course, her handbags even have their own room. Hey guys, we are in my purse closet. You might have seen it on my Snapchat or my Instagram. This is pretty much where I keep all my purses. I made a little room for them in my house, and I did this all custom so they all could have like a little home and be lit up really pretty. My favorite row definitely would have to be the Hermes row and I have been collecting these bags for a minute. They're also a great investment. Kylie owns over 20 Hermes and Birkin bags, which are the most iconic purse out there. Dozens of rare Chanel and Fendi pieces and every other designer brand you could imagine. And Kylie doesn't only buy bags for herself. When she bought her biggest fan, Johnny Cyrus, a Louis Vuitton backpack for his birthday worth over $2,000. That price tag might just be pocket change for the star, but I'm sure I speak for a lot of us when I say that's one lavish present. And if you think that's a nice purse, Kylie has a purse reserved for her daughter Stormy, who's still a baby. A pink Birkin worth 27k. And I'm definitely gonna let Stormy wear probably when she says, Mommy, I want to carry a purse. So this is probably gonna be her first purse. By the looks of it, Stormy is really reaping some benefits, and she's only two. Kylie spent over 70k on designer duds for her when she was still in the womb. Not to mention Stormy's birthday parties or something else. She had not one but two birthday parties for her first birthday, one of which was Stormy World, where a full amusement park was created for the baby's birthday, complete with rides, games, and even a full shop of Stormy merch. Wow. For her second birthday, Kylie went all out once again with the Stormy World theme, pulling out all the stops, easily costing over 100k. Welcome to Stormy World. Birthday party! Oh my God. My, you want to go inside? Yeah. Stormy World! Two is better than one. Oh my goodness. Go, baby. You want to walk? Or you want to come with me? Like she'll even remember. I doubt Kylie's been suffering much during this global quarantine either. According to the receipt, one year she spent 10 grand on Postmates alone between food orders and other deliveries. But when you're a billionaire, these are the kind of perks you've earned. Not to mention Kylie conveniently just moved into some brand new digs while the whole world's been on lockdown. I told you the girl loves real estate and her new mansion in Holmby Hills, Los Angeles cost her $36.5 million. It's located in the same elite neighborhood that's home to the famous Playboy Mansion as well as other celeb neighbors. And Kylie's new house was described as a resort style compound spanning over 19,000 square feet with four separate buildings on a lot that's almost an acre. There are seven bedrooms, an indoor movie theater, an outdoor projection screen, full bar, games room, gym, sports court, and more. Looking at her Instagram and TikTok, she's been having the most fun hold up here with her besties and taking advantage of the massive pool that centers the estate. The mansion is impressive, but this is hardly Kylie's first jaw-dropping home. Since her starter home purchase at the age of 17, which is a 2.7 million Calabasas mansion, she kept building her real estate portfolio. Kylie they grabbed three multi-million dollar estates in the Hidden Hills neighborhood that her family loves so much and an additional plot of land there too. She resold all of it except the third Hidden Hills mansion purchased in 2016 for 12 million. This is the home Kylie's lived in the longest which was featured in Architectural Digest and redesigned to be her dream house with the help of famed designer Martin Lawrence Bullard. The main house spans over 13,000 square feet with an additional detached guest house bigger than the average family home. The Cape Cod style mansion was transformed formed into Kylie's pink, youthful oasis and became a home the star was super proud of. The third home Kylie still currently owns is in Beverly Hills, but she went Dutch on it with her baby daddy, Travis Scott. It costs them around $13.5 million and spans over 8,000 square feet inside with a huge master bedroom that's 2,300 square feet. 
I'm pretty sure Travis has been the one living in this mansion for the last while, but either way, it was still an investment for Kylie. All of that property is more than enough, but not for Kylie. A few days ago, it was reported that not only did she buy her new Homeby Hills mansion, but just days later paid a whopping $15 million in cash for a plot of land in her Hidden Hills hometown previously owned by none other than Miley Cyrus. It's a five acre lot and one of the largest in the whole neighborhood. Though the land is currently bare, the sale included approval plans for an 18,000 square foot monster mansion with a 12 car garage, guest house, barn, guardhouse for full time security, sports court, and a pool. Of course, we don't know if Kylie will use those plans or custom design something of her own. So, this is the second car I ever bought. This is the Mercedes G63. It's the V8 by Turbo AMG. I pretty much had G-Wagon withdrawn. I called my mom and I was like, mom, please can I have my first car back? And she was like, I mean, you can buy it off me or you can buy a brand new one. And she was always teaching me lessons. And so I decided to buy my own. Aside from her properties, Kylie spends a good chunk of that billion on her car collection. The woman has a ride for every occasion, the price tags on each are mind-blowing. She has a Range Rover, Maybach, and three or four Mercedes G-Wagons, one of which is a Mercedes AMG G63. She had painted orange to match her Lamborghini Aventador. The Lambo alone cost her 400 k Kylie has a Rolls Royce fleet owning five of them in all different colors, including a white vintage Wraith and a custom ice blue one. These cars go for about 300 k each. She also likes Ferraris owning multiple, and her most extravagant one is the LaFerrari, which was a gift from Travis. There are only around 200 of these in the world, and Kylie's cost over 1 million. And just when you thought we were finished, Kylie owns one more car that really screams, I'm a billionaire. That would be her white Bugatti Chiron, which set the young star back a massive 3 million dollars. All her wheels considered, her collection is worth an estimated 14 million. All right, that concludes this episode of the billionaire life. What did you think of Kylie's luxury spending habits? Let me know in the comments down below as well as whose lifestyle is up next. My name is Karen, be sure to subscribe, find me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!